Good morning everybody, it is Monday. It's a bank holiday in the UK. I think it's a holiday in America as well, isn't it? There's something like that. Yeah, so there's no work today, if you are working. Yeah, and um, I've got tomorrow off as well, so no working tomorrow. Yay! So it's a weekly vlog. So I'm out in the garden, because it's time to do washing. I've got two lots of washing to go on my line. Paddling pool's full, so obviously I have to make sure there's nothing long on the one that's uh, near there because it was hot yesterday and we were in the pool and we'll probably be in it again because look at that blue sky um, the spare room is now ready it just needs a bit of a tidy up so the spare room library come colour in space so I'm hoping uh, tomorrow maybe we'll do a tour and you can have a look so I'm going to get this washing out and have some breakfast because I haven't had anything to eat yet so I'll see you in a bit Okay, Paul and Jennifer have gone out for a walk. It's uh, Monday afternoon, so I'm going to tackle this stockpile. And there's more downstairs, so some of it in the bottom one is rubbish. There's some in there, and there's all this. So I'm going to start uh, tackling that now. Um, as you can see, I am in the spare bedroom, and I will do a tour. Um, in the next day or so, it's just not quite ready yet. I'm shattered, as you see all my books behind me. And some chocolate, I can see. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna start and do a few of those, see how many I can get done. I'm gonna put the fan on, because it's very hot in here with the um, photo lamp on. And I'm also gonna put the TV on and watch a bit of um, somebody, some colouring videos, possibly. So yes, this is going to be a short vlog today, I haven't done much, but uh, I haven't really done much, it's too hot to do much outside. It might go out later and sit in the pool, I suppose, might do. But I better crack on, I'll see you in a bit. So I photographed these 11 items here. There was some stock in this spot, this bag, which I've now moved to the main stock bag here. That's why it's piled up, so I'm going to start hitting that tomorrow, do another 10 or 11 items. It's only because of... Um, with Jennifer, I can't uh, spend as much time as I'd like up here photographing. She'll stick it for so out. Oh, I just don't mean so long, and then she'll she'll kick off. So I've done eleven. One of the items was so tiny. It's a size six, off the shoulder, long sleeve top, and it is so tiny. It reminds me of when one of my mates from school would worn back in the late eighties, early nineties. In fact, I got pictures of her wearing a white one that's very, very similar, actually. So it was quite funny. Um, but there's some nice stuff in there. There's a nice monsoon dress. There's a couple of nice dresses in there actually. And some new look tops, some Zara tops. I think I photographed three Zara items, one skirt and two tops. Um, I've got a very big bag full there. I've got a load more downstairs. That's why I wanna try and get as much done this week as I can to get that up and I've got a load more coming. So my aim is to list five every day now. I've got six that are ready to go. In a bit we're going to be doing some downstairs because I've got some computer games downstairs. Um, a PlayStation 1 that needs to be put together with all its bits and pieces like its memory cards and controllers, cables. And I've got three boppets that need to be tested so we're going to do those today as well. I'm trying to get them photographed and drafted so that if I have a day off from clothing it's not a major issue. This battery's going so I'm going to go now so I can pop it on charge and I will be back a little bit later. I'll see you in a bit. Morning. It's Tuesday, I didn't wrap up yesterday. I did photograph my items. I listed five, I photographed eleven I and then I measured another six. I've drafted everything I photographed yesterday. Just got to put measurements in and all the oh specifics. If you can hear Jennifer's running around like a, a mad one. A baby! Yes, you baby. Every time she sees a baby, she goes, a baby! And she, thinks she, she calls herself a baby as well because she can't say her name. Can you, Jennifer? So, are you a baby? Mummy, you the thing, Mummy. Yes. So, mommy, what's today's plan? Mommy. Well, obviously, on the mommy. eBay front. Yes, Jennifer. Mummy. Yes, Jennifer. Mummy's here. I know, Mummy. You want to Stop it. Is photograph some more items, list some more items, draft some more items. Uh, like I said, another bag arrived mommy, yesterday, which mommy, I'll show you later. Mommy, mommy, one bag still outstanding. It needs to come. I hope it'll come soon. But I'm going to go drink my tea and have some breakfast. 
All right, Jen? Okay. Yeah, good girl. Mommy, no. I know. So I've come outside. I've got to uh, address one package to go in my bag. So Paul can take it out of the shop. There's nine going out today from the weekend, which is nice. Considering I don't list much, I'm not doing too bad. I will be listing today. I've got some ready to go. You hear the cockerel in the background, very nice. It's a bit overcast, but it's still nice. It's warm. The BB. The BB, yes, yeah, you, isn't it? So I'm just going to crack on with that. Oh, she's dropped something off the floor, so I've got to go and pick it up now. I'll be back in a bit. Hi, guys. So I'm going to do a quick tour of the spare bedroom, show you where I keep my colouring stuff. This is spare bedroom, uh, my library, and my colouring room. Sometimes I come in here if I can't sleep or if Paul's snoring. Well, and if I'm snoring and Paul can't sleep, so I just come in here, I colour, watch TV, that sort of stuff. So, so on the door, obviously I've got things hanging, but normally that's where I'd hang my mannequin when I'm photographing my stock, because I do that. So we're going to go clockwise around. So there's nothing very interesting. There's a picture on the wall that I took in Madeira, TV, mannequin and a washing basket. That's there for if I find anything dirty in the stock. That needs to be washed i just bung it in there and take it down these are my bookcases or some of them so these books on the top here are books i haven't read <laughs> there's a lot there are more than that but they're the ones that are in here so hot in here i've had the fan on but i've turned it off for now this first bookcase is all marilyn monroe factual books allegedly this second bookcase is all Marilyn Monroe factual book books, allegedly. Uh, photo books are included in that. And on the shelf here, where the Kelpol is, these are all Marilyn Monroe fan club newsletters I've collected over the years. There are more than that. More books, bit of space on those two shelves there. Over on this shelf, at the top I have a few books which you can't see, but uh, they are up there with my money box collection. Uh, this shelf is foreign language Marilyn books and this shelf and this shelf although there's other stuff on it is fictional Marilyn books that have been written as fiction there's a shelf there of colouring supplies and a photograph album which is one of my Marilyn scrapbooks which is in progress black widows some markers fine liners the super tips erosions feelers marker refines Faber Castell Classics and then on the bottom two shelves is my the rest of my Hollywood book collection well not all of it but there's two shelves of my Hollywood book collection um, so I've got quite a lot on that I've got, got a fan got a tripod with my camera for filming in this messy corner and it is messy this is my stock it's not all of it there's two bags downstairs that need to come up when I've got some more of this down done up here I have Jennifer's money boxes um, her keepsake box and my perfume collection bedside table books I'm in the process or wanting to read next all factual bed which has got a Marilyn bedspread on it my lap tray for colouring at night my Marilyn diamond painting which I've been doing a bit up here and then we got some more bookcases so on the top of these two bookcases on this one these boxes are all Marilyn clippings either newspaper clippings or pictures clipped from magazines and then this lot is jewellery and makeup this shelf top shelf and the next shelf is plays theatre related and poetry classics as you can see there's a few snacks there's a box of sharpies and a colouring book there um, colouring swatch book because I was using something Three shelves, and you can't see them all because there's a Marilyn cushion in the way, of Hollywood related or entertainment books. So I've got a lot of those. Next shelf. This top shelf is all Jack the Ripper related. There's one fictional book which is on the this side. And the rest are all factual. This is actually a spare shelf. It's got my makeup bag on it, which has got my makeup brushes in it. Um, some notebooks. Coloring book I'm working in. A notepad for writing on and a diary. And the next shelf is spiritual books, um, books on the occult and history books because there's a few history books on there as well. And then the following shelves again, this following shelf is again mostly spiritual and ghost stories. And then the bottom shelves are all history books, majority of which are about ancient Egypt but not all. 
The next shelf is my colouring supplies. There's my light for photographing. The top shelf of my colouring bookcase has first of all whips, books with whips in it. In the middle are books that need to be hauled and on the right hand side are completed pages. So those ones there are my pages for May. The top shelf here is all books that I haven't coloured in apart from anything that's oversized. There are a couple. Um, then the next shelf down, those books are all Jade Summer and Colour in Heaven. So, because I've got so many Jade Summer and I've coloured in so many, these ones here, they're all Jade Summer. These are all Colour in Heaven. This is a Jade Summer new book that I've got a flip through of. This shelf here has oversized books on it. So, I've got a folder of loose pages and my colour charts. Star Wars doesn't fit on any shelf. And these two, Serene and Colourful Mandalas, which is massive, don't fit either. This is uh, stuff I haven't coloured in yet. So there's Colour in Heavens and one big book called The Aquarium. They do not fit on the top shelf. I know the Colour in Heavens will fit on there. The next shelf down is all the other books I've actually coloured in. As you can see, that shelf is getting quite full. The next shelf down are supplies, so we've got Prismacolors, uh, Faber-Castell, can't remember what they're called, Goldfarber, uh, gel pens and my polychromos. The bottom shelf, which you can't really see, is just my diaries and I do have in my bedside drawer, or in the bedside drawer, this is all colouring supplies as well. So this is um, where I put my sharpenings. Um, some glitter pens, stuff like that. But that's pretty much it. So that is the room tour. This is where I come in the evening when I want to colour. After Jennifer's gone to bed, if Paul's, um, it's so hot. If Paul's talking to one of his mates on the computer, he's doing a Zoom meeting. I have to put the fan on because it's so hot. It's very hot today. Or if I can't sleep, or if I want to stay up a bit later and I don't want to disturb Paul, come in here, crawl into bed, might read, might play on my phone. Mostly do a bit of colouring, a bit of diamond painting. As you can see, I've only done this top section at the moment. I'm working on it. I was doing some the other night up here. It works really well. I can do it with the bedside lamp on. I just put the lamp on the tray and point it down. And I can see perfectly well. It's not so good for colouring. Need the big light on for that. And yeah do my photographing here for my uh, eBay business. So that's the room tour I've probably been promising you for a while. Um, there's still a, a few more bits to go. Once I've got my stock under control, there's another bookcase that's gonna come in here, a, a small, um, small one. It's in the kitchen at the moment, but we don't need it in there. So that'll come in and I'll probably <coughs> put more of my coloring supplies on it. That'll then free up that shelf for more Hollywood or Marilyn books. And that shelf for the small, really small colouring books that'll fit on there, which will free up some of the bigger shelves. So, yeah, we'll, there are ways around it that we'll sort it out. So, that's pretty much it. Hope you've enjoyed that. I'll be back soon, um, show you what I'm up to later. I'm probably going to have some lunch. It's got to be lunchtime now, surely. Let me just check the time. Well, it's quarter two. Oh, and I've had an offer on an item, which I'm going to take. It's great. I've just, Paul's just been down the post office and dropped nine items off. So I'm going to go and do that and update my QuickBooks account before I accept that one so that I know exactly where I am for the month because I know I'm in deficit but I want to see how much. So I'll see you in a bit, let you know what's going on. Bye. Oh, I've just had dinner. Uh, it's been really hot today. I'm so hot and I haven't even been outside very much. I managed to photograph 10 items and I've put some measurements on six ready for listing later. I'll measure some more when Jen's gone to bed. We're outside now, having our early evening relax outside. I've actually sold two items today, which is great. I'm just waiting for payment on one, so it won't be long, hopefully. Let's sit in colour, have a, got a Diet Coke, well, Diet Pepsi. Um, I'm going to have an Archers and Lemonade when Jennifer's gone to bed. It's quite nice. It's still very, very warm out here. Um, so I'm using my twine markers now, again, because I like them and I'm working in this one. This is one I'm try going to try and finish, and I've done loads in it, but I've still got loads to go, so I'm just doing that one. So, Jennifer's running around as usual. 
all my stock has now arrived from uh, the person I ordered it from, which is great. Um, there are two and a half bags in my hallway, which is why I'm photographing as much as I can. And I think there's about 75 items there and a load upstairs to do. I need to really crack on and do I gotta do at least 10 photographs every day. If I can do more, that's great. I'm, I mean, Paul's got training tomorrow afternoon, well, tomorrow morning till half 12. And I worked till around half 12. My actual hours are quarter past eight to quarter to one, but because I'm not on the phone, I start at eight and finish at half 12. So at half 12, me and Jennifer have our lunch. And if it's not too hot, we come outside and play. If it's too hot, which I think it's going to be tomorrow, we won't come out at that point. What we'll do is, when Paul comes down and has his lunch, I'll go up and do my photographs and I'll get as many as I can do before I come back down and play with her. And then it gets to this sort of time in the evening, maybe four or five o'clock before tea, we'll come out and have a go in the pool. This is going to be too hot at me, maybe three o'clock. After the, the, you know, after midday, it's just so, oh, I'm so hot. So I'm waiting for, Jennifer to go to bed. Well, I'm not waiting because we're out here playing and she can play out here as long as she wants. Last night we were out here until nine o'clock. She wants to stay out till nine o'clock, she can. Um, and we'll, uh, I'm going to have a shower and then I'm going to make some colouring videos. A uh, colouring chat and I'm going to work on my Black Widows um, video. So I'm going to try and get through all this stock I've just got. And when I get near the end of that, I've still got a load of cameras that I can test and put live. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go now and play with Jennifer for a bit and maybe do a bit of colouring. Paul will be out in a minute and I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you're having a nice day. We're waiting to see what Mark Drayford says on Friday about lockdown and being eased. So we'll have to wait and see. Do it again, Daddy. She got the most adorable laugh. <laughs> Careful, Jen. Not very good at it. Don't do that. Then. Please do that. Careful. 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 Give it a word, Deliver. Stand back. Whoa! That was close, wasn't it? Good morning, guys. It is now Wednesday morning. It's just gone. Nine o'clock and I'm working. Jennifer wasn't happy when I started work. She got up here this morning. She's really tired. Didn't sleep very well. Um, she cried when I got uh, unsat by my computer. My face is really blotchy. Hmm. <laughs> Don't know why. Probably because I didn't sleep very well. So she cried when I sat down at the table to start work. Not good. She's okay now. She's just watching Ra Ra the Noisy Lion. Um, yeah, so I'm doing this and then after that I'll have some lunch and play with Jennifer for a bit. I'm going to do my photographs early today because I want to jump in the paddling pool with Jen this afternoon. I'm so wondering where these blotches have come from. Oh dear. Might be time to break out the old foundation again. I haven't worn any of that for a long time. Anyway, I'm going to get on with my job. I'm going to ring my mum and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi guys, it's um, Wednesday night. I haven't vlogged all day. Um, Jennifer's had a bit of a dicky tummy, so she's been a very demanding girl today, poor thing. Um, she's, she's had a bit of a bad stomach, she's not been well. Paul was in meetings and training all day, so it was very hard for me to do anything other than just be with Jennifer. I haven't done any photographs today. I'm wheezing a bit, I need to take some medication. 
but I'm not too worried about not photographing today because I did I have got 20 listings and 15 that I need to measure anyway so um, I've got and that's after listing five today I've listed my five for the day I've had four sales today so that's good um, so I'm just doing some uh, six sets of measurements uh, ready and I'll pop them on um, tomorrow and I'll try and do some photographing tomorrow so I'm just doing this dress here this is a size 10 new look shirt dress so new looks not a brilliant it doesn't hold its value very well but still it's a few quid in it it's really nice actually um, so yeah I'm just doing that and then I'm gonna go upstairs and make a coloring video so that'll be it for today I hope you enjoyed that extra little bit of footage of Jennifer last night playing with the ball and the daddy with the pool she, it's just she was laughing so much I wanted to capture it because her laugh is beautiful I'll see you tomorrow it's Thursday do you know what I've only done one day of work and I want it to be the weekend already I'll see you tomorrow this is a nice top I just thought I'd show you it this is by Zara in its medium if it was my size I'd be keeping it this is the sort of top I like to wear it's like a tunic top it's really floral it's absolutely stunning I absolutely love this I really wish it was my size there's not much stuff that I get that's my size sadly and I thought I'd show you it because I just thought it was really pretty hi right, guys Thursday afternoon sitting in the garden now everybody's finished work there's something buzzing behind me Jennifer's been a bit clingy today, so I haven't been able to photograph very much. I have to try and do it later. She's in bed if I have to stay up all night and do it. I have to stay up all night and do it. <laughs> Jennifer and Daddy are playing with the ball, aren't you? You're playing with the ball, Jen. You get wet. I know. <laughs> Got a few orders to pack. I'll do them after tea when we come back out for the evening. It's been a hard day, I'm not gonna lie. It's been one of the hardest days since lockdown began. But now, now we've all finished work, it's quite nice. So it's just gone to seven o'clock ish. Um, Paul's just taking Jennifer out for a little walk. She wants to go for a walk. It's a bit cooler now, so she'll be fine. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a hard day today. It's been the hardest day for me so far of lockdown. Don't know why today, just, I don't know. But I am now sitting in the garden. It's lovely, it's not too hot. I'm not I'm not good with the heat. Maybe that's the problem, it's getting really hot. Um, I burn very easily, I sweat a lot. I, I get very uncomfortable, I hate it. I have a shower before bed after Jennifer's gone to bed. I've got a can of I've got a can of cider, but I put it in a glass, obviously. Um, I've got my, one of my colouring heaven colouring books. I'll show you what I'm working on. So I'm working on the one for the Black Widows video. So that's it there. I've got a few. I've got three paid orders to pull for um, from the shed. So we're going to do that in a bit. I'm going to have a sip of my. Uh, Strongbow dark fruits, a little bit of colouring, and I'm going to chill out for half an hour, get some peace. It's been a hard day, but hey, it could be worse. I've still got my health, and that's the thing I'm holding on to. We're still all very healthy, none of us are ill. I know tomorrow I'll probably be fine. Just it's been very hard today. And I will see you all, maybe later, but more than likely tomorrow. Take care. Hi everyone, it's Friday morning, I'm at work, well I'm working, I'm at my desk, well I'm at my table, at my laptop, um, just, oh excuse me, doing what I can, getting on, I've had a system crash this morning and I've, had, oh don't ask, but I feel a lot better today than I did yesterday, Jennifer woke up in the night crying, so I had to go in and, and um, give her a cuddle and she went back to bed straight away, she, she just, probably had a bad dream, wanted a bit of reassurance, so I gave her a cuddle and when she's ready she just points to her bed and I know it's time to put her back down and she's fine then she slept through till six and she woke up at six and then we went in i said just go back to sleep for a little while and she made it through to just before 10 just before set six seven o'clock um but then she wanted to get up so she's playing with her blocks at the moment on the floor 
I'm watching Angie's Dinosaur's Adventures and I'm keeping an eye on her, making sure she gets everything she wants, if she wants to drink or something to eat, I sort it out for her. Um, I'm going to order some fish and chips for tonight from um, uh, the Village Fish Bar in Baysleg because they deliver, so we don't have to go out and get it. Paul's going to nip down to the shop later to post my nine eBay sales. I had one come in this morning and I managed to pack it before I started work, as well as putting the washing out because that's the sort of thing I do at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, yeah, so got a diet Pepsi here to try and keep myself awake. I'm really tired and I think it's this the heat means I'm not sleeping as well. That's probably why Jennifer's awake earlier. She might have a sleep this afternoon. It's unlikely, but she might. Um, when I finish work, have some lunch and then I'll try and do some eBay at some point. I managed to photograph five items yesterday, which is five less than I normally like to do, but at least it's something. So Paul will probably take Jennifer for a walk this afternoon like he normally does. And I'll take the advantage of that uh, 20 to 30 minutes and photograph as much as I can upstairs. So I've managed to get the stock in the hallway down to two bags uh, the half bags all upstairs and as soon as I empty the bag that I'm working on I'll take some more up I'm not worried about what order I do it in as long as I get it all done and I'm doing well I'm listing five every day and I'm selling every day so I'm happy so where I was going to be in deficit for the month I'm pretty sure I'm going to be breaking even or slightly in profit I'm not sure yet um, I won't know until this afternoon and then it's not 100% because if I get sales obviously it's going to change again though there'll be no postage going on until next week you know, next time you'll go down probably Monday or Tuesday um, so yeah I'm thinking I might be a little bit in profit and then I'll be able to work out how much profit I might have made if uh, I hadn't spent £180 on stock but I needed to stock so I better get back to work I've just had a, yeah I've had a stinking headache, that's the heat. You know, I don't do well in the heat. I love the sunshine, I'm glad it's nice. Um, it's too hot for me to sit out in it. Um, although I do try and sit out for a good good hour after tea in the evening. We'll probably eat if we have fish and chips if I can get moulded. Um, we'll probably eat outside and we'll just stay outside and then for a little while, it's about eight, half eight and then put her to bed. There's no point in putting her to bed too early. She won't sleep because it's still so light. But um, hopefully she'll sleep better. I'm going to get back to work. I've just rambled for three and a half minutes, so yeah. See you later. Friday evening. I know I haven't vlogged much today. I've been playing with Jennifer because Paul was in a meeting. She's got her drink. Oh, there's fish and chips today from the Village Fish Bar in Bayside. Jennifer's got her sausage because she loves sausage. I've got a curry sauce and Paul's got mushy peas. So look at that, it's come all the way from Basel. It's a good seven, eight miles and it looks perfect. So I'm gonna tuck in. Hi guys, it's Friday night. It is 20 to 10. Um, Paul, Jennifer, obviously, well, Jennifer's obviously in bed. Paul's gone to bed. I've just been doing um, some eBay stuff. I've put five live. I think I put six live, but something went wrong with one of them and I can't find it now, so I'll have to look at it in the morning. And I might have to pull and refotograph the item if it's deleted it completely. I measured what I can. I've got some stuff upstairs that I can measure, but I want to try and do some more photos tomorrow and fill that bag up. I still look really proud. Um, I'm watching some slap tam. Uh, which is a scary YouTube channel and what I'm going to do is in a minute I'm going to go up to bed and put it on up in bed because I want to finish um, this Black Widow's video picture so that tomorrow night I can film the rest of the Black Widow's video. I'll show you it in just a second. So I'm hoping to have the Black Widow video up Sunday, hopefully. Um, so I, you'll see the video before you you see this video, hopefully. It's nearly finished, as so you can see. I'm just doing the background now with um, Galaxy Blue. I was going to do it multicolored background, but I think there's so many colors on there, it would just look a mess. I've just gone with blue. And um, yeah, I'm just going to finish that, go to the bathroom and go up to bed. I'm going to take it with me and I'll put another layer over the background. And then I'm going to get the Prismacolor blender out and start blending it in, although I won't blend it all because I need to do some of that on on camera. So that's it for today. It is Friday. I am now going to go to the bathroom, clean my teeth, 
go up to bed. So I'll see you in the morning. Morning, Saturday morning now. Jennifer's eating her breakfast. Paul's just gone down the shop to do some shopping. And I'm having a cup of tea because I am bleh. Without a cup of tea, I can't do anything. It's hot. For me, it's too hot. I won't be going out until this afternoon because it's just, I can't stick it. I just can't. I just come out in a rash. So I'll have to wait till when it cools down in the evening. It was still hot yesterday evening when we were out there, but still. Um, plenty to do though. I'm sure I'll find something to do. I'm sweating already. Still, at least there's no work work today. I'll probably do some eBay. Well, I will do some eBay. But there's no, no proper work today. So. Apart from looking after Jennifer in the house. She's busy watching Peter Rabbit at the moment, so. You finishing your Cheerios? I'll be back when I've got something to tell you. Saturday evening and it's still very hot, isn't it, Paul? Yes. And we're having dinner outside again. This time it's curry. So it's a little chicken korma, which is quite spicy for a korma. But Jennifer likes it, don't you? Say hi. Nodding, good girl. Just pulled a few orders, ready for posting on Monday. Three and I've sold all skirts. Just watching Paul and Jen playing with toys. We're gonna to go in and do a Brit Pop quiz in a minute. I'm not big on Brit Pop. It's Paul's uh, thing rather than me. If it was classic movies, I'd be in like Flynn, but uh, uh, Brit Pop not so much. So uh, I'll join in for a bit, and when I get bored, I'll measure loads and loads of items and do some colouring and I'll show you what I'm doing. It's a lovely evening, everybody's out, next door neighbours, both sides are out enjoying their gardens and quite rightly so, that's what the gardens are for. We are very very lucky to have a garden. I know there's a lot of people who live in flats who can't get out and I do feel for them. I'm very grateful that I have my garden. So I'll see you in a bit. It's late Saturday night and we are playing the second of our quizzes tonight. We did the Britpop quiz, which became ninth out of how many? 72? No, 72. 70 something. So we came ninth, so we're really pleased. And now we're doing the late, late music quiz. We've just done round one, which was 80, so that was fine. Um, just, uh, as you can see, on the laptop and the Kindle Fire here. I'm doing the answering and we'll see where we are in a second. It'll come up. Where are we? Oh, let's pick your favourite. What do you want? Done it. So we picked, go pick a, a song we want to listen. So we list, picked a Dexy's Midnight Runners. <laughs> Come on, Eileen. So. Dexy's one. We, we want the scores. So we know where we are. So this is going to be going on after midnight. <laughs> so it's like half past 11 now. Should we see what they voted? This is what they are. Oh, look at that. It was close. Billy Jean and Bon Jovi on 15 apiece. <laughs> Never going to give you up with 11. Wham on 6. <laughs> I'm answering. You could have turned it around the 11 that didn't answer. It's good fun, this right. is. This is good fun, this it's quiz. Good so. good five songs. And oh, hang on. Got to choose another one. Uh, what's next? Okay. What one do you want? Hat. Journey, Men Without Hats, or that weird one? No, Fine, hole, on the hole on the Moon. Because we love the Water Boys. Especially as the two of them now play with the Thor Doctors, don't they? Yeah. Anthony Tisselswaite. Come on, I'm with you. He's one of them. Seen him many times with the boys. Ah, oh, Journey, don't stop believing. That's oh. the second track you're going to listen to. Oh. Oh. I do like that song, mind. It's a good song. So it's going to be Journey, the second one. Oh, look at that. Big winner. Big winner. Can't fault it. So we're going to start off then. We'll play Dexys first. We're going to play Don't Stop Believing second. Is he going to do the scores uh, though? That's the question. I want to see the scores. Get yourself off to the bar or the kitchen. Or toilet for me. I need to. I need, need to go wee wee. Oh, hang on. Just before you all run off, better give you some scores. Yes, please. We've been waiting for the scores, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Pop music next. Sick. 53. Not bad. Back in a bit. So just quickly, if you're interested in joining a quiz, 
uh, speedy trivies, tri <laughs> speedy qu trivia quizzes on Facebook and MB quizzes is who run these. They're great. Gotta go because this music. It's late now. It's ten past midnight. So technically it's Sunday morning. As you can hear, there's still music. So anyway, we've gone down now. We're in twenty something place. Twenty six, I think, wasn't it? Was I meant? I can't remember. Anyway, round three coming up. It was the nineties. We didn't too bad. We got two wrong. Yeah. So naughty next. That could be bad because like we're old we codgers here. Club and then there's club classics. That's even worse because we're a couple of old codgers. We're more sixties and eighties and we and fifties. But uh, yeah, we're just waiting for round three, the naughties to start. Anywho. I'll let you know how we get on there. It's now half past one. Yeah, I'm going to jump in the shower. Quiz is just finished. We came 15th out of well, 70 some in, so not too bad. Next quiz we'll probably be doing is the movie quiz on Thursday, though there is a general knowledge one on Tuesday, which is tempting, tempting, tempting. We will decide later. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a shower and head off to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Sunday morning. I'm having a cup of tea in the garden because it's not too hot yet. Once it gets hot, that'll be me in until after tea as well, till tea time. We're a bit uh, tired after last night because it was half one before we went to bed. Jennifer's sort of playing under the table, so I've got to hold on to my tea. Otherwise, it'll end up everywhere. It's quite warm already, but it's not too bad. You right under there, Jen? Oh, another beautiful day, so yeah. Oh, I'm going to do a bit of colouring, um, a bit more on my Black Widow picture, it's nearly finished, I'm just um, blending it in and it's going to take a little while so I can film the video later tonight. Had another sale, got two to pull, happy with that. Again I'll do that tonight once it cools down a bit, Paul will probably take them down the shop tomorrow and get them posted, so happy days. Little fly on my uh, camera there. Um, Jennifer's under the table, otherwise I would show you what she's doing, so not all the point, can't see her. I'll be back in a bit, let you know what's going on. As you know, I started this diamond painting months ago, just after Christmas, and as you can see, I've done very little, and a bit up here, and that's it. And the reason for that is I didn't have anywhere to put the beads, because I only had so many of the film canisters, which I used on the last one. They still had beads in them that were left over. So, it arrived today, I got a little case. So as you see, all numbered, I've got to put the corresponding symbol on it yet, and I'll do that as I go through them. Um, so I've got three pots of the black beads so there would have been four boxes if I had had this when I first tied it um, so I haven't numbered those because I know that's what they are and I'll use those up first and then put them back to the end so they're all in number order there's some lots of spare teeny tiny cases for other ones um, my boats are in there they won't fit but they just sit nicely down the side there's a little scoop as well from this, which is great because it means I can take them out with the scoop. I might do a bit later tonight and show it to you, but that'll be before bed, so this will be going up very uh, Monday afternoon sometime. I'll try and uh, edit it together Monday morning. So yeah, so as you see, not many in that one. There are lots of different, 29 different colours, uh, beads in all, all, together, all told. There's some blue tack there. Um, so I use that as well as the red wax that comes with it and the reason I did that is I saw it on somebody's channel and they said the, the blue tack was really good and it is very very good um, so um, I lost the red wax the last time so I've always got a bit of blue tack just in case that happens again but there is some red wax in here along with a pair of tweezers that came with this set the original set of tweezers I had I've lost again I don't know why Red wax, a couple of boats, and the scoop. The scoop's going to be very handy. So this was, I think, ten ninety nine from Amazon, and I think when I order another diamond painting kit, I'll probably order another one of these because they're really good. It holds. Well, I've got twenty nine colours in there. Um, so thirty three, one, thirty two, and there's lots of these little small ones, and there's another two big ones as well. So the, I think the idea is you can take these ones out and fill it up with the, the rest of it. Um, but I don't need to do that, so I'm just leaving it like that. But it's very, very hot. I'm upstairs because Jennifer's having a little sleep. Because it is so hot, it's even draining Jen. So I'm going to watch a bit of TV now and then do tea. And we'll eat that outside again because it's so nice. I've also got two orders to pull uh, later. I didn't do any eBay yesterday, so I will be listing five tonight. I did photograph yesterday, I'm not photographing today, I'll be back to photoing tomorrow. 
um, after work. And I also want to film a few colouring videos. I've got the end of the Black Widow pencils one to do. Oops, it's, that's the, the strap. But hopefully that'll be up Monday or Tuesday. Um, there'll be my haul today and then tomorrow I'll film my completed pages because I really want my Black Widows one to be in there because it is practically finished. So I'll be showing this again in my uh, colouring supply haul because obviously I do diamond painting occasionally but not very often. It's too complicated to film but I'll show it anyway. Anyway that's it. I'm uh, going to go watch a bit of TV for a while. Another sunny evening so it's dinner outside isn't it Jen? She's currently picking all the cheese off of her her pasta dish. She loves the cheese, don't you, Jennifer? Yeah. Mm. Beautiful day. Hi guys, it's coming up to 10 o'clock. Um, I'm up in the bedroom now. I've been filming, so I'm in the spare room tonight. Um, I've just finished filming the Black Widow one, which I'm gonna edit some more, together tomorrow and put it up. I've done my haul of colouring books and supplies and I've done my completed pages video so that means the next video I'll be filming will be my next colour and chat which of course is uh, Clara Markova so you'll be seeing two videos on Monday the 1st of June this one and the Black Widows one so that will be fun won't it looking forward to that so this one probably first and then the Black Widows one I'm so hot, I've got the fan on, I've got it on its highest setting, I'm actually going to move it a bit closer to me, I've got a cold drink, um, it's boiling, it's supposed to cool down to about 11 tonight which is nice, um, it's going to be hot over the next few days and then it's going to get a bit cooler and go a bit rainy at the weekend, but that's it for this week, it's been a long week, it's been a hot week, we're still in lockdown in Wales, they have eased it slightly. I could, if I wanted to now, go and visit my mum and dad uh, as long as I stay two metres away from them in the garden. Um, it's too hot to walk down there. It's, I, I might go next weekend. Um, and that's about it, really. Nothing else has changed. Um, and in three weeks, they'll review it again and they might start lifting a few more restrictions. I totally understand why Mark Drayford, the first miniature, is being overtly careful having spoken to my work this week because they were doing a ring round just to make sure everybody's okay even when we go back in August there's only any limited people in so who knows I may be in the office I may not I'll, I'll see what the options are you know I mean it depends if the nursery's open and I have to pay fees I might as well be in the office so if the nursery is not open then uh, obviously I need to still work from home it, it really does depend on how the nursery's doing of course they're going to be very very hard pressed to open properly with the amount of kids and, and staff and the, their small space so that's it for tonight i'm going to watch the bibliophile colorists now his uh, finished pages are for for may i can't believe it's june it's my birthday at the end of the month yay we're not going on holiday we normally go on a holiday for my birthday we're not this year obviously it's been all been cancelled but we're going to rebook it for next year that's our plan i'm still having my week off me and Paul plan on doing a load of quizzes that week so we're going to see what's on when they make the announcement and we're going to see how many of those we want to do but we won't be doing the late late music quiz again because we were both dead today we couldn't do anything I think the heat didn't help um but we really enjoyed it we'll be doing the movie quiz on Thursday night so I'll be trying to let you know in a colour and chat how that goes <sighs> or Facebook if you're on my Facebook I'm off to bed like I am going to watch a video and do a bit of colouring and I'll see you all in a fortnight so no weekly vlog this week but there'll be one next week yeah no point doing it every week there's not a lot happening see you soon bye guys